door. <laughs> I'm seeing everybody start entering, so I'll get started here in a minute. All right, well, hi everyone. We're so excited that you were able to join us today. Welcome to Take a Closer Look. Um, so we're just gonna get started today with some introductions of our admissions team so you know who all of us are that are gonna start talking with you here today. Um, I'm gonna get started and my name is Lisa Seifert. I'm the Associate Director of Admissions here at Central Penn. Um, I know I probably talked with most of you at some point in your time um, getting accepted throughout this process. Um, and then I'm going to introduce to you um, the rest of the admissions team that is joining us today. Um, we have, um, to get started, is Amy. She's going to kick us off. So go ahead, Amy. Hi, everyone. I can only see about 25 people. I'm so excited. I want to see every face, and I'm not sure how to do it. Uh, but if you are here with PTA, you have worked with me, and some of you I have not met, and I'm so excited. I can't wait to see you in person. Thank you so much, and um, hope you're all doing well. All right, Asia, do you want to go next? Oh. She needs unmuted. He's muted. I, <laughs> I can't find her on my list. All right, there we go. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm muted. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, some of you don't know me, but um, a lot of my students do. So it's nice to finally put a face to a name. Um, so I just want to say welcome, and I'm glad to see you all. All right, Zach. Hey, everyone. I'm Zach. Uh, I see a couple of my students, Rayleigh, Rosario, um, Salt Kyle, you're still not completely in, and um, Timothy Jackson, I think I saw you somewhere. So what up, everybody? Nice to finally put, you know, some you know, faces to the name. It's been um, a crazy year with this uh, COVID stuff, but it's uh, been great working with you all, and hopefully uh, you have an enjoyable time through this. All right, and last but not least, here's Kelly Fox. Hi, everyone. If I haven't talked to you, I've definitely talked to your parents, and I look forward to working with you guys throughout this process. Kelly's the money lady, guys. <laughs> All right, well, we're so happy you're here to join us today. We're looking forward to getting back to campus here soon and um, seeing all of you guys. Um, so we're excited to be the first um, to welcome you to the Central Penn family. Um, just a couple things to go over with you today. Um, you can all see like the chat feature um, that you have on your Zoom meeting. Um, we're gonna be fielding questions here in a couple minutes. So if you have any questions for us, feel free to just keep putting them in there. Um, and then Asia's going to read them off to us and we're gonna answer them live um, for you and hopefully get everything answered today while you're on here. Um, so you can start doing that um, whenever you feel like it. Um, and then you should have received the agenda today. So we just kind of wanted to lay out what your day is gonna look like. Um, so you get to start with us um, and we're gonna just um, help you couple reminders um, and then go right into your questions and then after us you're going to be able to if you're living on campus um, residence life will be on and they're going to be telling you all about housing and what to expect there um, after that we're going to have our support services so it's going to be um, the Multicultural Affairs Office, Counseling, Advising, and the Learning Center. So you can see what um, opportunities we have on campus to help you be successful here um, on your way to graduation. Um, at 3.30, we're gonna have bingo and trivia. Um, definitely you should log on for that. Um, there's gonna be lots of prizes and gift cards um, to be given away. Um, and then we're gonna go into college sports um, and questions and answers with the coaches and the athletic director. So if you're interested in playing any of our sports, that would definitely be a great time to log on to that session. Um, we'll also have a student panel um, and open discussion later on today. 
And then we're going to um, have a Rocket League watch party with the gaming club um, to end the day. So if you're a gamer, you might want to get on there and check that out. And don't, I know a lot of you guys have been asking some questions on if you have to stay on the entire time. No, you don't. You can log on and off. You can just use the same link um, and it'll take you into whatever sessions that you want um, during those times. So you'll be getting reminders throughout that the sessions are going to be starting. And then a couple reminders from our admissions team here of things that you'll want to get done here to um, be all set up for either if you're starting in our July term or our October term. Um, so you'll get to see all the faces of everybody that's going to be joining you um, today. And then a couple things to get started on is going to be, if you haven't paid um, your $100 deposit, um, you'll definitely wanna reach out to Kelly and I, um, and we'll help you um, do that on your student portal. If you have, great job. Um, your schedule's probably getting ready now. Um, so as soon as we get that, we'll be able to schedule you for some of your classes. Um, setting up your student portal, that's really important to be able to get all of our up-to-date information. Um, so we'll send those to your Central Pen email if you need help setting that up, um, we're definitely on hand to help you with that. We also wanna make sure that you're doing um, your housing application if you're living on campus, um, so we can start sending out roommate packets um, so you can find out who you're gonna be living with. You'll wanna finalize all that fun financial aid paperwork that um, Ms. Kelly's been sending you all. Um, so she'll be um, finalizing um, financial aid packages and she'll let you know how you can set up um, appointments with her next week if um, you need one-on-ones. Um, one of the important things for you to do is to sign up on the Central Pen app if you haven't done that yet. Um, we're really enjoying getting to know all of you and seeing um, your pictures pop up with your little bios that you guys have started out there. So guys, if you haven't downloaded the app, make sure you go to your app store and download the Central Pen app and um, put your picture out there in the little bio and you can meet other people that are starting in your program as well. Um, of course, follow us on social media. Um, we are on Facebook, Instagram, um, Snapchat, Twitter. Um, so you can definitely do that. And then the last thing I wanna remind you of is we sent out a technology survey this week that you've probably gotten some messages from us. Um, if you could take a couple minutes, it's five short questions. Um, it's just setting you up for what your needs may be um, as you join us here. Um, in July, in the next couple months, or um, in a fewer months, which is in October. Um, so it's just to help us um, prepare to help you. So I guess these are all of our reminders. Um, so I will stop talking and let Asia, um, if we have some questions, um, go ahead and put them out there. Um, so we have two questions. Well, one is more of like a concern. Um, so um, one is, it says, I did my housing application a few times. Um, so can we get some clarification on um, the housing application and any changes to it? Sure. Kelly, do you want me to take that one or do you want to? Okay, so the housing application, um, most of you had filled that out. If you had changed, say you had started um, applying um, for fall and then you decided to join us in July, um, you would have had to have filled out another application. So I'm not sure if that pertains to you. Um, if not, there was an upgrade to the application too. So they did recently send out um, some that may have had to be redone. But um, for further clarification, I'm sure Residence Life is going to be covering that um, next. But um, everything's in order. If you filled it out, we do have it on file. Anything to add, Cal? Nope. Awesome. Um, so we have another question. Oh, you guys are going faster than I can scroll <laughs> here. <laughs> um, so it says, I'm concerned with the housing information. When do we know what, who our roommate will be? Also, when will we be receiving our uh, schedules for freshman year? So a two-part question. Kelly, you wanna take that? I'll take that one. So for summer students, your housing packets will be mailed out the first week in June. And for our fall students, the housing packets are mailed out the first week in September. 
For those of you starting in summer and paid your deposit, you are registered for classes now and you should be able to see your schedule in the portal. For those of you starting in fall, we will register you for classes the first week in August. Moving on. All right, so next question is, should, be, should we be preparing for campus living for July? So at this point, um, we are moving forward. Um, there will be a summer term. Um, next week will actually be um, when the board um, and the cabinet are going to be meeting to make the decision on if we're going to be online or on ground um, for the July start. So um, next week, we'll actually be reaching out to all of you um, and letting you know um, as soon as we get that information. So it'll be coming through your email. You'll be getting a phone call from your admission counselor um, and it will also be posted on our website um, on the front page of the website at the top you'll see a COVID-19 um, link that you can click on as well all right um, next question is when will I know what books to get and where can I get them Kelly you want to take that one for summer term the book list will be out the first week in June just like the roommate list it will actually be on your student portal is where you'll be able to order your books from our online bookstore. However, we do provide the ISBN number so you can purchase your books from anywhere. You're not required to purchase them from our bookstore. If you have a book voucher through the financial aid office, those aren't released until June 18th. So although the books will be available the first week in June, if you're planning to use your book voucher, the book vouchers aren't available until June 18th. For fall students, your books will be available the first week in September, and your book voucher will be eligible or will be available on September 17th. All right. Next question is, when will payments be due? So it's kind of general. <laughs> yep. For the summer term, I will be emailing out your bills next week, and the payments are due June 12th. For the fall term, your payments are due on September 11th. All right, next question is, um, when I call FIA, what do I ask them? Because I was told to call, but I don't know what I'm calling them for. All right, Desir, I'll private message you. Next question is, when will we find out who our professors are in our assigned courses? You're actually, they're assigned as um, soon as registration closes. So they're finishing up some scheduling. Um, so then they will appear in your portal um, once they are assigned to those classes. Um, so you'll be able to find those out very soon. I don't know if there's an exact date, Kelly, do you know? Usually the first week in June is when everything comes together. All right, um, next question is, are the book vouchers for free books or discounted books? The book vouchers are for students and families who over borrowed, so they have extra money on their loans to purchase their books. So it's not free, it's extra loan money that you'd be using for the book vouchers. All right, um, so this question says, I know it's kind of too late, but I know that some colleges, especially bigger ones, put out a group chat link to talk to others to reach out and get a roommate over social media. Was that ever an idea for this college? It's a really great question. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure if that is. Um, I can find out from the Director of Residence Life, um, but as of now, how the roommates are assigned, um, so the housing application that you guys all um, have received and filled out, um, there's a lot of questions on there about um, like, you know, are you a morning person? Do you like to sleep in? Um, what kind of music do you like to listen to? Those type of things. And they compile all of that data and figure out best ways to um, match you up with the roommates. Um, but I can definitely bring your suggestion to the director of residence life um, about setting up a group chat. Um, that is a really great idea. So um, we can definitely get back to them as well. And I just wanted to add something to that if I could. Um, for right now, um, the Central Pen app is a great tool to use to connect. Um, I know a lot of you are using it. Um, I see you on there. Um, but right now, you're able to use that to connect with um, prospective students um, and also students who are also active. So you can also use that application. 
And moving on to the next question, um, this says, so I have a question. Since I've never been to Pennsylvania, what should I expect? What are some fun things to do while I'm there on campus? There's lots of fun things to do. Um, oh, everything. <laughs> Everything. Um, you definitely want to start getting involved on campus, um, just start getting to know um, your um, advisors, start getting to know um, your fellow students. Um, a great way to do that is the clubs and activities. Um, so when at 3.30 today, when um, Adrian and Casey pop on, um, they're part of student services and they'll tell you how you can get involved with that. Um, some of the fun things that you can do on campus. Um, Zach, do you, I know that you at one point had lived on campus. Um, do you want to tell them some of the fun things that they can look forward to? Wrong. Actually, Asia oh, lived on campus. never lived on oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I lived, at, I did live in the Enola area before as well. I mean, there's a lot of nice stuff around if you just like, I mean, if you don't have a car and you're still kind of, you know, because it, what's nice about where we are is it's very quiet, it's residential, there's apartments on the backside, and it's surrounded all by housing, so it's not like you have to worry about busy streets or anything, so like me, I'm, a, uh, I'm an outdoorsy type of person, I like going on walks and stuff, the mountain is right there as well, uh, there's a park within a five minute walk of the campus, there is a shopping center as well, it's the uh, Somerdale Plaza, so uh, there's a diner, a Dunkin' Donuts, a Starbucks, McDonald's, Rite Aid, Driver's License Center, um, so there's a lot of stuff you can do within walking distance. Um, luckily, we do have shuttle services um, that hopefully we all told you about already. Uh, with us being so centrally located, I mean, especially coming out of state, um, you're about a 15-20 minute drive to Hershey. So Hershey Park, Chocolate World, everything that goes on out there, a lot of great shopping as well. Uh, Harrisburg wise, I mean, you, the, this is the river route. If you again, if you like to walk, it goes the whole way from. Um, uh, it's actually like a 30 mile trail if you're really big into that it goes around all throughout it's called the green belt um it's really cool to do as well city islands right by the school as well baseball games are going on during the summertime uh, there's a nice arcade there batting cages uh this is all stuff that's with like within five to ten minutes of the school we're also located right outside of mechanicsburg another great uh it's kind of like hershey but um what we call the east shore and the west shore the school's on the west shore so Mechanicsburg has some great shopping as well. Walmart, Wegmans, I mean, uh, awesome. yeah, there's just a lot of stuff around to do, so it's, it's fun. I can touch on things too. Asia, anything to add? There's a lot around the campus. Um, so Zach was going on a lot around the campus, so there's always something to do should you not want to be on campus. However, um, we do have a full activities calendar that goes out every month to the students. Um, and that actually will show you every activity that's happening um, that month. So, and, and there's usually multiple activities and events going on per day. Um, so a lot of my students always emphasize that's when the prioritizing comes in because it's easy to get wrapped up in that fun. Um, but there's always something to do uh, between the uh, organizations, the uh, student clubs and organizations and between the sporting events as well. Um, there's always, you'll find something to do on campus and something to get involved in. And don't forget about the great pool on campus. I saw Madison. And the pool. The <laughs> pool's a, pool. a great time in the summer um, that you can utilize. Um, and we do have um, a workout center too. So that's always fun. Um, and like Asia mentioned, we have like some really great sporting events too. So you always want to go out and support our, our fellow Knights. Yes. Also the theater. Oh yes. And the, the theater. The theater has movies, events, shows various activities. All right, so let's get through some more questions. Um, so the next question says, I'm starting in the fall. When should I set up my student portal and also how should I do it? Okay, you should definitely do that um, as soon as possible. Um, the sooner that you can log on, the sooner you can start getting um, all the information that's pushed out there. Um, so you um, can set that up and we can definitely like private message you um, and help walk you through that. But you should have gotten um, an email over, once you got accepted, sorry, I should start over. Once you got accepted, you got an email from Help Desk that has your Central Pen My Mail account and your password that you can go in and set everything up. Um, so if you can't find that email, just reach out to your admissions counselor or myself and we can get that email over to you and make that happen. 
So it's never too early to start getting everything set up. Did that, did I answer everything? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. So next question is, how do I know that I'm eligible for a book voucher or how can I get one? So if you're starting in the summer, when I email you your tuition bill next week, if there's a credit on your account, that will be the funds that'll be available for your book voucher. So you'll be able, we'll email you to your central pen account in June, a username and password, and you'll use those funds to purchase your books. If you're starting in fall and you don't wanna wait that long, you can always just email me and I can check your eligibility for a book voucher. All right. Next question is, do you know what types of classes the criminal justice students will be taking? Yes, the classes that criminal justice will be taking. Um, we probably went over that um, in your admissions interview. Um, if you want a list of the specific, like your core classes, we can email that to you. If you can, um, Asia, if you want to just write down whoever sent that and we can send that over to them um, sure. in an email after this. Um, and you can also, obviously, on our website, too, it does list um, things to look forward to in the criminal justice program. No, I got that. That was uh, my student, Rayleigh. I'll do that now. Okay. All right. So, so that would seem to be our last question. Um, anyone else have any questions? Feel free to type. <laughs> Going once. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, there we go. How many, how many classes will freshmen have? So typically, if you are a full-time student, um, you'll be um, registered for 12 um, credits, um, which is four classes. Um, if you are taking um, less, you can take to live on campus. Um, you have to take a minimum of nine credits, which is three classes. So most of you will be registered for either nine or 12 credits. Um, so you probably have worked that out with Kelly. All right. And next question says, what's the meal plan like? And I want to add something to that question. So what's the meal plan like? And another question that I've gotten is, um, what's the standard meal plan? Kelly, can you walk them through yep. the meal plan? So the meal plan, most students take the 690 meal plan. However, there are options for 1,000 and 1,500. And what the meal plan does, it's a declining balance. So if you go to the night and day cafe and spend $5 on breakfast, you now have $685. And if you would spend the next day $10 on lunch, you now have $675. Whatever you don't use in the term will roll to the next term, but you must use it all by the end of the spring term. So if you would start this summer and you have meal plans and you keep rolling and rolling and rolling, you must use it all by next June or else it'll be forfeited. So your balances will always roll each term. However, you gotta use it all by the end of June. And if you find that the 690 is not enough, we can increase it to 1,000. If you find that you get 1,000 and you need it taken down to 690, we can do that. We can change it up each term for you. Can I add something about the meal, the meals? I just, I know a lot of my PTA students are commuting. And so I just wanted to point out that anyone can eat in the cafeteria. You don't have to have a meal plan to do that. So if you have free time, you, you know, you have an hour between class, you're welcome to go down there and you can like pay with cash or a card and, and order food and it's a nice place to hang out and relax. All right. All right. So the next question says, how does credit work in order to graduate? I think our, our bachelor's degrees are 124 credits. Um, most associates are 77, some are 79. Um, some of the medical program associates are more like 62 to 79. So it all depends on the actual major, how many credits will take to get you to graduation. All right, and a few more here. We, it says, uh, can you, or how can you see your schedule once you get logged in? Once you're in the portal, you should be able to check under either my academics or my schedule. But the trick to this is it defaults to the term that we're currently in. So if you're a summer student, 
when you log in, it defaults to our spring term. So make sure you change that to summer. And then for our fall students, when you log in, it'll default to summer. You've got to change it to fall to be able to see your schedule. You have to have paid your $100 and only our summer students are at this point. All right. Um, so we have a question here. We actually have two questions that are a little similar, so I'm going to combine them. Um, so one says, if you attend CTC, will any of those credits transfer? And then the other question says, if you're taking college, I guess, college courses in high school, will, will, how will, I'm sorry, those credits transfer over? So they're both about transfer credits. All right. With the CTC, I'll start with that one. Um, so if we have an articulation agreement um, with your high school, um, we can take a look at those transfers. Um, usually what happens is your guidance counselor will give us or give you a letter to send to us about what classes that you've taken there um, that are with our agreement. Um, I think I saw that one pop up and I think that was Caden. So um, I can reach out to you afterwards and get you set up with that. Um, and then the second part of your question on if you're taking classes um, at Hack or any college, um, for that matter, um, while you're in high school, um, all you would have to do is get your unofficial transcript um, and send it over to us. And then we can have them evaluated by our transcript coordinators. Um, I will tell you that with the transferring in credits, you do have to have a C or better um, to transfer in credits um, for that. So we can definitely take a look at it. Um, and then we will send you a transfer evaluation in your email. Um, and then after you, like if you haven't completed those classes yet, they'll be pending um, completion. And then you'll have to get us an official transcript after to make them officially um, transferred in. Did I get both parts, Asia? You got it all. All right. Um, and then we have uh, two questions that are similar, so I'm also going to combine them. Um, so they're about roommates. So three parts to the question. Will I be able to pick my roommate? Will we pick the roommate for them? And how will we know who the roommate is? Oh, that's a lot in one question. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, do you want to handle that? Sure. So for summer students, the roommate packets will be going out the first week in June. So it will list who your roommates are and their contact information. If you didn't request a roommate, then based off the answers on your housing application is how you are placed with other students attending Central Penn. So sometimes it's off, you know, sports or majors or interests, or do you sleep late or sleep early or do you sleep better at night so they take all of those questions into consideration and place you with roommates and again summer students you'll get that the first week in June and fall students you'll get that the first week in September all right and how many internships do we have to do um this is from Todd Pope I'm not sure what program um they're in so how many internships are required okay so for um most programs um, you're going to have an internship and it is a one um, placement um, during your internship. However, um, I believe Todd, you may be an OTA um, and OTAs and PTAs um, do two um, internships. So they'll have two placements um, for eight weeks apiece. Um, so they have a little different um, setup um, for the internships. But the internships do run out of, um, sorry, I didn't mean to cut off. The career services department and your advisors will work with you on setting up your internships as you get closer to that during graduation. So we have a lot of guidance on that for you. Okay. Um, so I know we're running out of time here for this session, but uh, I'm going to just go over these last few questions and combine them. So uh, when do final transcripts have to be in? Uh, that'll be one. Um, and then also, um, how to request to live with someone, and should I redo my housing app because it did not give me the option to request? Okay. Wait, what was the first one again? The first one is when do uh, final transcripts need to be in? <laughs> okay. So your final, if you're uh, talking about final high school transcripts? Um, one is for hack and one is in general. Okay. So high school transcripts, um, unfortunately, we know with the pandemic right now um, that some people um, are not getting official high school transcripts yet. Um, so we're willing to work with you, just kind of keep us in the loop 
Um, typically, they're due um, as you start that term. Um, but we know with the upcoming summer term, um, some high schools, depending on how they're calculating everything and getting them out, that that might be a little law. Um, so, you know, we're willing to work with you. So just kind of keep us in the loop with that. And as far as hack or um, any college transcripts, they're due by two terms after you start. Is that correct, Kelly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, two terms after you start. So I had to think about that. So if you're starting in the summer, you would have to get the official transcripts to us no later um, than January. Yes. For them to count towards your... All right, and should I do a new housing application um, to request to live with someone? Um, you don't, just email your admissions counselor and let them know who you wanna live with at this point. Um, some of the ones that I told you they had to resend out some housing applications, um, I don't believe that they um, have that question still on it. So you can fill it in if you haven't, um, just on any blank space that you can type. And if not, and you already submitted it, just let your admissions counselor know and we'll get in touch with President's life. And dance. I don't want you seeing me. I'm gonna dance, but I know you don't want to see it. I got it. <laughs> All right. What any other questions before we yeah, so we have two questions. Um, one from Madison. It says, as an information technology major, can I do software engineering internship at Amazon for three months to meet my IT degree requirements? She's asking because she already completed an, or she's already been accepted to an internship at Amazon. So Kristen Fike is our internship coordinator, and I can message you her contact information. Okay, we're good with questions. We are good with questions. And Ms. Haley, I'm actually your admissions counselor, so you can email me your question. <laughs> I just saw that pop up. So you can feel free to um, email over to me. All right, guys, well, it looks like um, that's all the time we have. However, um, 